We have some unfortunate news for Tennessee Titans cornerback uh, Janoris Jenkins. Uh, his Rolls Royce rate that's a 2016 one. Very beautiful cars, Mario. Um, it was stolen. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just as surprised as you. Those things are extremely hard to steal, especially the newer vehicles, Mario, with all the new technology and the safety equipment and security equipment coming with it. It, it, it seems almost impossible to steal a car like this, but it happened, and I'm still curious as to how it happened. So basically, um, he parked the car outside of Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport in Atlanta on May 5th uh, before catching his flight to West Palm Beach, Florida, and he comes back, and all of a sudden, his car is gone. So that I, I do wish him the best of luck in trying to find this vehicle. Um, they don't have any idea of the whereabouts of the vehicle. So that's also some unfortunate news as well. Um, he said on social media that they gave him the complete runaround. Um, and he also said, and I quote, the airport was in no way, shape or form empathetic, concerned or in shock that something like this could ever happen. Um, and before I continue, because I'm very curious about this myself, Mario, uh, this article was written by Teron Davenport of ESPN. So let me go first, OK? I got to talk about this because I'm very curious how this guy pulled this off. Because like I mentioned before, you know, with all these new technologies and these new cars, especially a Rolls Royce, you know, if, you, if you're if you a car enthusiast or just no one, Jen, actually, you don't even need to be a car enthusiast to know that Rolls Royce is one of the most, ex if not the most expensive vehicles to buy today. I think the most expensive one you can buy is $700,000. It's a lot of money, Mario. And if I'm buying a car for $700,000, I'm making sure that car has some safety equipment for days on it and for and some security measures as well but this one this one's a little more a little more cheaper it's a rolls royce wraith if you don't know your rolls royces that's like the coupe version of it so it's a two-door um it only cost them two hundred fifty thousand dollars at most still a lot of money for a car though, but really it still is and i expect a lot of tech especially in this day if i'm buying a car for that much money i expect a lot out of it but um i'm curious how he pulled this off because like especially with these newer cars the 2016 one you need to have like a key fob and it's like a push start. That's just, that's just how it is these days. There's no more, you got the key, you stick it in the hole and you go. That's not, that's not how it works no more. You got the key fob, you open the door, it's got buttons on it, opens the doors for you. You push the button as long as, it, as, long as, as long as you have the key fob on it and you just go. So I'm very curious as to how he did it. Maybe he had like a, maybe he had like an aftermarket key. I'm not sure if Rolls Royce has or does one of those. I'm, you know, I'm not rich, so I don't have a Rolls Royce, but, um, yeah, it's very interesting, Mario. Maybe he hotwired the car. I'm not sure because the new cars, again, are hard to hotwire. Um, it, it's it's definitely a very odd situation. Janoris Jenkins seems, to, um, from what I've read, he doesn't seem to be um, very um, pleased with the um, uh, with the airport um, because he said that they they didn't sh uh, they didn't show any em uh, empathy or in or shock that something like this would happen. That was his words. Um, so it, it appears that. From what I from what I'm hearing or from what I'm seeing from Janoris Jenkins, I guess the airport didn't really make an attempt to try and find this guy or um, make an attempt to stop him from stealing the vehicle. Um, but again, Mario, that's that's just the thing. Atlanta, Atlanta, the thing with Atlanta, Mario, it's high with crimes. Atlanta, Atlanta is a hot spot for crimes. It's very common for this type of stuff to happen, you know. So. I can't say this is his fault, but at the end of the day, if, if what he's saying is true about the airport, then the airport really should have done something about that. You know, I mean, you can't just let something like that happen and then be like, oh, yeah, like your car got stolen and that's that. I mean, I'm not again, that's just his words. I'm not so sure what what really happened about that. There's really no other information aside from what I gave you. But um, he contacted Atlanta police about it. So I do wish him the best of luck in trying to find this vehicle. As for this guy and as for... See, guys, like, if you want a car, you got to work for it, man. Stop stealing other people's cars. And as for this guy, I want to call him a genius because he stole a Rolls Royce. But at the end of the day, what he did was dumb. I only call him a genius because he managed to pull it off. Because, like, you know, stealing a car like that is almost impossible. So, however he did it, you know, he must be a genius for that. But at the end of the day, what he did was pretty stupid. So, um, with that being said, I do wish Janoris Jenkins the best of luck in trying to find his Rolls Royce. Um to you guys out there, make the right choices. Stop stealing things from people. It's just unnecessary. It really is. And yeah, just don't bring a Rolls Royce in Atlanta because it's, yeah, Atlanta's a hot spot for crime. So yeah, don't bring a Rolls Royce into Atlanta. Right. But well, before I start, I just want to say again, apologies to your Norris Jenkins that he had to go through this. And I hope that he finds his car. Um, but yeah, when you're ready to look at this, Nate, you're absolutely right. Like, I'm going to be honest, this dude is a genius. But again, if he gets a lot of these guys, they're geniuses to a certain extent. 
So they're geniuses by pulling it off, but they but they miss that one little th- detail that gets them caught. You know? Yeah. It's as simple as that. Or they are so worried about their plan, their plan to steal the car, that they forget how they're gonna actually like get away from police or hide from them. Which honestly, it's a very hard thing to do now, but still. Yeah, I want to know how I pulled this off too. Again, hot wire, but again, that's really hard with the new cars, like you said. Um, again, maybe somebody might have stole it, stole it, stole the key or whatever, and took it. Who who knows? Again, I'm not saying this, man, but it could possibly be an employee. I'm not saying it is, it but you know what it could have been. I actually forgot about this. When you get a Rolls Royce, you get like a valet key. Maybe someone did something with that. I don't know. Who knows? Right. Again, it's really hard, and we don't know. Again, I'm not accusing nobody, but again, it's it's really hard to see. To again, I don't know how the airport's going to explain it. He did have a quote, Janoris Jenkins. Again, he said, and I quote on on uh, social media, he said, "They gave me the complete runaround. The airport was in no way, shape, or form empathetic, concerned, or in shock that something like this could happen." So, and again, he did contact Atlanta police about the theft. So basically, Nate, when you really look at this. It really is unfortunate, and I don't. And again, I hope they find this car because that is a really expensive car. But I don't know how this dude stole it. I really don't. And again, when we find out exactly when he got his car back and how it got stolen, we will let you know because I'm curious to how they could have stole this car. It, it really is tough. And again, unlocking it as well. You could have like if they didn't have the key, they could have like you know picked the, they could have picked the lock on the on the on the car. But it, again, it's really hard to do that type of stuff with these new cars, you know. Because again, you could do it, but still, like it's it's just really hard. But yeah, Nate, I really want to know as well because like I don't have a lot of answers. I'm thinking either somebody stole the key, somebody hot wired it, picked the lock, um, did did that the old fashioned way, or an employee did it. That's the only thing I could really think of right there. But again, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Regardless, you know, I wish the North Jenkins the best of luck. Again, sorry that this had to happen to him, you know. It, and it really does suck, the fact that he went on a trip and he came back and that's the news that he gets. You know, like, like you don't want to hear that news after you get back from vacation or a trip or whatever it might have been or wherever he went to West Palm Beach, Florida for. So with that being said, I wish him the best of luck in finding his car and I hope that he finds out who's stolen. I hope he gets his car back.